Hello colleagues, I'd like to share with you a method I have found for maintaining due dates for assignments that are in completion folders. Hey, over on the right side, I want you to notice these three assignments. There's an energy assignment, um, a Schoology quiz, and this energy assignment uh, too. All of those are contained inside of a folder that right now does not have any completion rules on it. You can see those, uh, those assignments here. What I'd like to do is set up completion rules. I'd like to have it so that students have to uh, complete all of these and in sequence. So I'll add that requirement. They have to do the first assignment and make a submission. Okay. After that, I want them to view a video. And the requirement is that they view that item. After they've uh, watched that video, I may have them take a Schoology test where they have to score at least some uh, score to show proficiency in the material. And after they've done that, then they can do some type of concluding assignment here. And they have to make a submission to that. Okay. Um, so I've got each of the assignments. I'm going to have them complete them in sequential order. Notice up here there's a warning. Due dates will be removed for these uh, items. So if I hit save, in fact, all the uh, due dates do disappear. Let me go back to the class uh, list. Take a look on the right side. You'll see that those uh, three assignments have disappeared from the right side. Here's how I've managed to reestablish due dates on items. Over here on the gradebook, up here toward the upper right hand uh, corner, there's some more options. I click on that on the pull down menu. I go to bulk edit. This allows me to uh, make changes on. Uh, several different assignments. You can see here I have my energy assignment one, energy assignment uh, two. I'll go ahead and put due dates in there. One, one, I'm going to put out 2019 just not to confuse my current class. Okay, that other assignment I'll give them another couple of days. 2019, I'll we'll make it at you know, 10 p.m. The last item um, is that uh, test. Um, I have found that these end up being a little tricky to sometimes uh, find. Okay, my due date on this, I'll put it as 1, 2, 2019. Uh, I'll that also do at the uh, end of class. Okay. <clears throat> and I'll go ahead and save those uh, changes. Okay. Hey, just a, a brief note. You notice uh, this grading period? Um, if I don't have a date, Schoology will assign the uh, date to the last day of a grading period. If I only leave it, let's say here, as 2015 and I don't have a date, um, when I sync up Schoology along with PowerSchool, it'll assign it the last date of the term. And sometimes you won't be able to see that at all. Okay. I'm going to save those changes. And I'm going to go back to... Hey, yeah, come back out to the class... Uh, Schoology page, and I see that the assignments uh, are now all populated on the right side. Two advantages there. Students see those, and two, if you sync up uh, PowerSchool with your gradebook, you now have a date associated with it. Let's go back to the folder itself. You can see this does have completion rules on uh, here. Okay. Put an option here to look at the student completion. See those completion rules uh, still are maintained. Hey, so just a note, if you do make any change at all on this, uh, what I found that uh, those due dates will disappear. I, um, it does end up being a little finicky about that. So be careful, check to see what you're doing. Um, if you do want your students to view these in a sequential order, you have to be really careful about how you uh, put those or update those items in the bulk edit. Okay, hey, so good luck with that.